Blessed Wednesday evening po mga kapatid. Binabati po natin ang lahat po ng ating kapatiran mula po dito sa Baguio City, Bayambang, and Kamiling at sa lahat po ng nanonood ngayong gabi. Welcome po sa ating Midweek Prayer Watch. God is good po at tayo po ay nakapag-gather po muli ngayong gabi upang makapag-meditate po ng kanyang salita, makaawit po ng awit ng pagsamba at makapanalangin. But before we sing a song of worship to the Lord, uh, let me share a short verse po muna. In Psalm 103 verse 1, sabi po dito, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Dear brothers and sisters, this verse is encouraging us to bless the Lord or to praise our God with our all. Let us bless the Lord for all the things that He has done for us, for His goodness, grace, love, and mercy towards us every day. Let us bless the Lord whatever the circumstance that we are in. Let us bless the Lord for He is worthy of all our praises and adoration. Naway ang bawat puso po ay mapuno, mapuno lamang ng pagsamba. Tayo po ay umawit sa Panginoon. Our dear Heavenly Loving Father, we thank you and praise you, O Lord, for tonight, 
for the blessed privilege once again, O Lord, Panginoon, na makapag-meditate, O Lord, ng inyong salita. Marami pong salamat, Panginoon, sa inyong pong kabutihan, O Lord, sa bawat isa. We pray, O Lord, na ang bawat puso, O Lord, ng lahat po ng nanonood ay pupuno inyo lamang po ng pananampalataya. Lord, kayo po ang magpapaunawa sa bawat isa, Panginoon, ng inyong pong salita. Marami pong salamat, Panginoon, sa dito po sa Midweek Prayer Watch. And Lord, as we meditate your word, kayo lamang po ang makita, kayo lamang po ang manguna at mag-glorify, O Jesus. Father God, be with us and we ask, Panginoon, for your holy presence. Marami pong salamat. We ask all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Magandang gabi po muli sa ating lahat. Tayo po ay may series sa atin pong prayer watch, particularly po sa Hebrews 11, which is the Hall of Faith. So, nakita po natin ang pananampalataya ni na Abel at Enoch po sa mga naunang series po. And last week, nakita po natin why faith places God. Tonight, titignan, titignan naman po natin ang faith ni Noah. At makikita po natin ito sa Hebrews 11.7. At basahin po natin. By faith, Noah, when warned about things not yet seen, in holy fear built an ark to save his family. By his faith, he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness that is in keeping with faith. We know and we are very familiar with the famous story of Noah's ark and how they were saved from that great flood. And I hope by faith, we are convinced that it is not just a uh, myth, or kwentong pambata lang, or just a simple Sunday school lessons, but a real histor historical event. At sa gabi pong ito, ito po ang ating magiging outline. Una po, who is Noah? Pangalawa, the warning. Pangatlo po, the faith of Noah. Fourth, application of Noah's faith. Panglima po, the result of Noah's faith. And as we go through po these verses and the, see the faith of Noah and why he was included in the Hall of Faith, let us see first the historical authenticity of Noah. Sino po ba siya and what was the condition of his surroundings? First, who is Noah? Most of us probably know him. Kilala po natin si Noah bilang isang Bible character na gumawa ng isang napakalaking barko upang maligtas siya at ang kanyang pamilya sa isang napakatinding pagbaha na magaganap. Ngunit bukod po dito, tignan po natin ang ibang detalye kung sino po si Noah. Noah's name appears together with, our, with other historical characters in the genealogy of Genesis 5, 28-32. So, it is said that he has the same claim to his place in history as Adam and Enoch. So, he was the son of Lamech who came of the line of Seth. And also, we can see po sa Genesis 5 verse 29, the meaning of Noah's name. He named him Noah and said, He will comfort us in the labor and painful toil of our hands caused by the ground the Lord has cursed. So, Noah's name means rest or consolation and is related to a Hebrew word meaning comfort. Let us remember the situation or nature of the environment or we must understand the times in which they lived. So Noah, together with his family, lived in a situation wherein sin or corruption was of mankind was rampant. Or one, as one author said, sabi po ni Oswald Chambers, the earth was shrouded in deep moral and spiritual darkness. In Genesis 6, 5 and 11, it is stated, The Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on the earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of the human hearts was only evil all the time. In verse 11, Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight and was full of violence. So, kaliwat kanan po ang karumaldumal na krimen at mga kasalanan na nangyayari sa mundo. 
And the word of God says, Great the wickedness, and corrupt in God's sight, and full of violence. All sorts, all kinds, shapes, and forms of sins are present in that period when, when Noah is living. So being wicked or evil is simply not conforming to the holy standard of God. Rebelliousness against the Lord. So, nandun po ang pagiging blasphemous, malicious, deceitful, covetous, idolater. Name all the examples of wickedness. In short, hostile to God. So, human depravity was total and with the exception of Noah and his family. So, sukdulan po ang kasamaan ng tao wherein God repented of his creation. In Genesis 6 verse 6, it says here po, The Lord regretted that the, that He had made human beings on, earth, on the earth, and His heart was deeply troubled. So, the Lord cannot tolerate sin, and it must be punished. Ngunit tulad po nang nabanggit sa 2 Chronicles 6-9, For the eyes of the Lord rage throughout the earth, to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to Him. So, but despite the corruption of mankind, it is a breath of fresh air, an overflowing hope for every heart to know the character of Noah. In Genesis 6, 8-9, But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. This is the account of Noah and his family. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time and he walked faithfully with God. Take note the verse 8 po, But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. In the NKJV KJV version, the word favor is translated po as grace. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. So in the ASN version, ang salita ng Diyos, Pero may isang tao na nakapagbigay lugod sa Panginoon, Siya ay si Noah. So, to find favor or grace in God's sight means He is pleased and delighted. So, in Christianity.com, the favor of God can be transcribed as a divine kindness or an act of true compassion on the part of God Himself toward needy and undeserving human recipients. So, now that we've seen the short background of who Noah, of who is Noah, and his situation, let's go po sa, to the warning of God. In Hebrews 11.7, it says here again, By faith, Noah, when warned about things not yet seen. So in Genesis 6.13 and 17, it says here po, this is the warning. So God said to Noah, I am going to put an end to all people for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I am surely going to destroy both them and the earth. I am going to bring flood waters on the earth to destroy all life under the heavens, every creature that has the breath of life in it. Everything on earth will perish. So this is the announcement of God's judgment for mankind. When God says something, either a promise or a curse, alam po natin na it is good as done. Hindi po siya katulad natin na pabago-bago ng pag-iisip, especially po sa mga namanggit na verses. He is desperate to destroy all life. Remember that it is not a fiction na katulad po ng mga napapanood natin ng movie. Eh, but it is a, re the, a real one. In the case of Noah, because of his faith to God, he takes heed of God's warning. We can see here again the grace of God towards mankind by giving a warning. So he could just destroy di po ba, yung mundo ng wala pong babala since siya naman po ang gumawa nito. Ngunit hindi po ito ginawa ng Lord. So in our life or situation po right now, do we have warnings from God? So, how do we respond po sa mga warnings? Kapag may babala po si Lord sa alin through His Word or kapag may tao po na ginamit si Lord upang tayo ay balaan sa mga posibleng mangyari po sa atin, sa, lalo po sa mga decisions sa, sa ating buhay. 
are we thankful or are we resentful po? So, may the Lord gives us grace like Noah to take heed the warnings in our lives, especially kung at stake na po ang ating relationship sa Kanya and makakadulot po ito ng hinpagsira ng ating buhay. So, going back po to our verse, By faith, Noah, when warned about things not yet seen. So, this is what amazing to Noah. We know he obeyed, but here it says about things not yet seen, which was an obvious definition of faith in Hebrews 11.1. 1. So, hindi pa po nakakasaksi si Noah ng ganoong dilubyo o matinding pagbaha bago ibigay ng Panginoon ang babalang pagwasak sa sangkatauhan. Ngunit dahil sa kanya pong paninampalataya, siya ay naniwala na ang babalang ito ay mangyayari. So, tignan po natin yung pangatlong point, which is the faith of Noah. It says here, By faith Noah, when warned about things not yet seen, in holy fear, built an ark to save his family. So, the evidence of Noah's faith is that he has the holy fear. This is what makes the faith of Noah in that time makes a difference. So, he has a holy fear. In other translations, ito po ay reverence. So, the holy fear of Noah makes a difference because it leads to faith. So, while fear alone does not because it leads to anxiousness, doubt, worry, or unbelief. In short, it leads to sin. So, in 1 John 4, 18, it says, Because fear has to do with punishment. Ito po yung worldly na fear. So, the holy fear or reverence that we are talking about in this verse is godly fear or simply fear of God. One that is pleasing and acceptable to the Lord. So, kaakibat po ng holy fear ay nagkakaroon tayo unang-una ng wisdom. So, in Proverbs 9 verse 10, it says here, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So, in relation to Noah's situation, the evident faith in Noah leads him to see and recognize the holiness of God. That's why he takes heed of God's warning. The wisdom not to conform to the pattern of the world in his time is indeed from God. To hate sin, to hate injustice, to hate wickedness. Pangalawa po, kaakibat ng holy fear ay nagkakaroon po tayo ng in awe of God. So, we are in awe of God. So, in Psalm 95 verse 6, it says here, Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. So, Noah not only recognized the holiness of God, but also he knows that God is the creator of everything. So, he is in awe of God. He knows how powerful and how able our uh, our God is. He listened to God with a focused heart to the Lord and becomes Noah's worship as well. And lastly, kaakibat po ng holy, fear ay, ng holy fear na ito ay nagkakaroon tayo ng security, sense of security. So, Noah found favor in God's sight as stated in, G in Genesis 6-8 because of his faith. So therefore, as he takes heed of God's warning, Noah and his family were exempted from the great flood or the judgment of God. The akibat nito po is ang kapayapaan mula sa Panginoon. So walang anumang pangumba sa pagdating ng anumang sakuna po. So as we assess our hearts po mga kapatid, what kind of fear yung na-experience po natin ngayon? Is there any fear for the future? Fear of losing someone? Fear of failure? Fear of, of death? So, like Noah, mga kapatid, let us respond by faith. In holy fear, because that's the only way that we can find peace like and rest like Noah. And this holy fear that we are talking about is not a passive one. Let us continue the verse 7. It says here, In holy fear, built an ark to save his family. So, dito na po papasok ang application ng faith ni Noah. Sorry. 
But before po natin tignan ang application ng faith ni Noah, okay, tignan po natin yung progression from Hebrews 4 to 7. Okay? Ito po yung faith ng mga napag-aralan natin mula kay Abel, Enoch, at hanggang ngayon po kay Noah. It says here, First, we are brought into a right relationship with God by trusting the sacrifice He has provided in the blood of Christ. It refers to Abel, to a to Abel, the sacrifice of faith. So, it's faith worship. So, Abel illustrates a worshiping faith. Sorry. Second, having been brought into a relationship with God, we, we then walk with Him by faith. Enoch, the walk of faith. So, faith walk. Enoch illustrates walking faith. And third, only then do we perform the works of faith, the practical good deeds that follow as a result of God's grace. Noah, the work of faith. So, faith's witness. Noah illustrates witnessing faith. It is now faith in action. So, tignan po natin yung application of Noah's faith with regards po dito sa progression. Unang-una, to build an ark to save Noah's family. So in Genesis 6, 14 to 16, it says, So make yourself an ark of cypress wood, make rooms in it, and coat it with pitch inside out. This is how you are to build it. The ark is to be 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high. Make a roof for it, living below the roof, an opening one cubit high all around. Put a door in the side of the ark and make lower, middle, and upper decks. So we can see here po the instruction of the Lord on how to build the ark that we would that would keep him and his family safe. So Noah's foundation is faith alone in God, which is why in obedience. He doesn't only take heed God's warning, but in obedience, builds an ark even though he has no picture of the, of the greatness of the flood. He just abides. Noah, together with his son, builds the ark following God's instruction exactly. So walang labis po, walang kulang. The physical materials and dimension that God has been instructed are also carrying the promised salvation to the family of Noah and the future human race. As they construct the famous Noah's Ark, it was also an opportunity for other people, so except sa kapamilya po ni Noah, to take heed of God's warning and be saved po sa dilubyong darating sa mundo. For 123 years na pagkawa po ng arko na ito, hindi po nagkulang si Noah sa pangangaral at pagsasabi ng babala para po sa mga tao. In 2 Peter 2.5, Noah was described as a preacher of righteousness. So we can see here the patience and perseverance po of Noah. Habang ginagawa nila ang barko, siya din po ay faithful na nagsishare ng word ni Lord. Oswald Chamber commented on this po. This lengthy period must be understood both in the light of the longevity of men in those days and in the light of the magnitude of the task. Noah was 600 years old when the deluge began. The construction of the ark is the longest, most, most drawn-out test of faith recorded in the Bible. Throughout the whole period, Noah's hard-pressed faith was given no visible confirmation. His conviction that a flood was coming was shared by no one but his own family. Public opinion was solidly against him. Noah was regarded as an eccentric and his sons as fools. But in blind, unquestioning faith, the man who walked with God accepted God's revelation and acted on it. So thus Noah did according to all that God had commanded him, so he did. Which is nakalagay po sa Genesis 6.22. His was a sublime faith and obedience. So imagine nyo po if the Lord asked, 
asked to build an ark also in Mount Pulag in the middle of the summer season. Maybe it would be a test of faith to us if he will obey that command because we never saw a flood na kasing taas po ng bundok na yon, di po ba? Of course, the Lord promised po na hindi po niya wawasakin ng mundo tulad po ng panahon ni Noah. Ngunit ano kaya po ang mga dealings or pinapagawang arko sa atin ng Panginoon na, na hindi po natin maunawaan sa ngayon kung saan ito magagamit. Kung meron man po, let us obey the Lord no matter how blurry today yung, yung pinapagawa po niya. Sapagkat ito po ay may magandang purpose po sa ating buhay. So it is not for us to figure it out kung paano po mag-work ang isang bagay, ngunit kung gaano po tayo magtiwala, kung paano po tayo maniniwala sa or mananampalataya sa Panginoon. So the ark is also an illustration of salvation. Christians could relate in a way like as we become bold for the Lord and share the good news of salvation. Like Noah, mapagkakamalan din po tayo mga baliw, fools, eccentric sa mga pinaggagawa natin para sa ating Panginoon. So we are living in the last days. And like the warning in the days of Noah, there is also a judgment for all people who do not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Sinasabi nga po sa Matthew 24:37-39, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day of Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. So katulad po ng pagbibigay ng warning sa panahon ni Noah, napapanahon din po ang warning na ito sa atin pong panahon ngayon. At tignan po naman natin ang second application of the faith of Noah. It, by his faith, he condemned the world. So, it doesn't mean that Noah was a harsh, judgmental, or condemning person. Genesis 6, 9 tells us that Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked faithfully with God. So let us understand that if a person takes a stand for the truth, especially God's truth, he will be condemning those who are not following. The command and judgment were from God. Therefore, the condemnation was from God too para po sa mga taong nag ng utos at babala ng Panginoon. By Noah's faith, he condemned the world by living by faith. Noah heard and obeyed God's word, and that is living by faith. He also condemned the world by taking heed of God's warning, and in contrast, the people around them refused those warnings many times. And lastly, Noah, by his faith, condemned the world by their preparation for the great flood, the Noah's Ark. Ginawa at sinunod po ni Noah ang kalooban ng Panginoon. During Noah's time, huli na po ang lahat. Mankind has been condemned already because of its irreversible wickedness. But if you are hearing this message and nais niyo pong maligtas, magkaroon po ng salvation, the only way to be saved from that condemnation and judgment is to believe and accept the Lord Jesus Christ and surrender your life to Him. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Siya po ang daan, ang katotohanan, at ang buhay. There is an assurance that there is no condemnation sa mga taong pong tumanggap at tatanggapin po sa buhay nila ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. At sa atin po, na anak na po ng Panginoon, may it become an encouragement to us to persevere and to live by faith to become faithful in sharing God's word sa lahat po ng tao na hindi pa po mananampalataya. May the Lord fan the flame po in our hearts to seek Him and love Him more and more. 
And tulad po ng sinasabi sa John 3 verse 3, may it also be our prayer. He must increase, I must decrease. And as we end po, lastly point number 5, the result of Noah's faith. Became, became heir of the righteousness that is in keeping with faith. Just like Abel and Enoch, Noah counted righteous because of his faith. He who was a preacher of righteousness as indicated in Second Peter, he also became heir of the righteousness. We can see that his obedience to the command of the Lord is not in vain. And doing all those things with faith in God resulted to become heir of righteousness. Let this serve as an encouragement po sa ating lahat to do the will of God and to walk by faith. Let us end in prayer. Our dear Heavenly Loving Father, we thank you and praise you, O Lord, for tonight. We thank you, O Lord, Panginoon, for the life of Noah, for na siya po, Panginoon, ay naging example, Panginoon, kung paano po lumakad ng naaayon sa inyo pong katuwiran, Father God. Marami pong salamat, Panginoon, na indeed, Pinakita niyo po, O Lord, ang inyo pong uh, righteousness, ang inyo pong holiness, O Lord, nung time po na yon, Father God. Lord Jesus, indeed you are holy, you are, O Lord, just Panginoon, and you are also a loving God. Thank you, Panginoon, sa mga warnings, Panginoon, na ibinibigay niyo po sa amin through your word. Help us like Noah, Father God. Help us to take heed, O Lord, Panginoon, sa mga warnings po na yon. Help us, O Lord, to obey you. Help us, O Lord, to seek you, Father God. Help us, O Lord, Panginoon, to walk by faith. O Lord Jesus, be with us, Panginoon, in every step, Panginoon, of our walk, Panginoon, dito po. Thank you, Father God, Panginoon, sa lahat po ng lessons, O Jesus, sa lahat po ng revelation, Panginoon, na ipinagkaloob niya sa amin. Lord, Panginoon, may this verse, Panginoon, indeed ay maging encouragement po, Panginoon, sa lahat po ng nakapakinig po ngayong gabi. Lord, marami pong salamat. Thank you for your word. Kayo po, Panginoon, ang mag-glorify, Father God. We ask all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. Holy, holy is the Son of God. None can stand before His majesty. the Word made flesh, King who bore our pain and poverty, comes to claim the rebel and the wretch, worthy, He is worthy, all glory and honor, all power and praise, be to your name. From the graves to reign on high Worthy, He is worthy All glory and honor, all power and grace Be to your name, be to your name For no one could rival your glory and fame Lift high the 
name of Jesus. Holy, holy Lord Almighty, worthy is your Greatly to be praised. Holy, holy, Lord Almighty, worthy is your name. Holy, holy, none beside you, greatly to be Good evening po, brothers and sisters. Praise God sa word ng Panginoon ngayon pong gabi pong ito through Sister KJ. At ngayon po mga kapatid, marami po tayo mga ipapanalangin ng mga prayer concerns mula po sa ating pong mga brethren. Pero bago po ang lahat, let me share with you a few praise reports mula po sa ating pong mga brethren. Uh, yung pinag-pray po natin last week, Si Sister Erica, na-hire na po siya finally sa Cebu Pacific. So, praise God, after two years of praying for a job, uh, when she lost it during the pandemic, finally, uh, sinagot na siya ng Panginoon. So, purihin po ang Panginoon. At nagpupuri rin po tayo, mga kapatid, sa uh, isang answered prayer ni Sister Jeanette. Uh, meron po siyang kapatid na napag-pray po natin a couple of times dito po sa prayer watch. At last Friday po ay pinag din po siya ng mga kapatid natin because she had a hysterectomy. And praise God because uh, benign yun po mga polyps na nakuha po sa kanyang uh, procedure. Uh, nagpapapray pa rin si Sister Net na sana po ay hindi na po mag-recur yung kanya pong breast cancer. At sana po ay uh, maging maayos yung kanyang paparating po na mammogram. So, idagdag na rin po natin sa panalangin ang mga bagay po na ito. And then we will be praying for the first-timers who attended last Sunday. Pagpipray po natin yung pong mga kamag-anak ni Sister Tere sa Trancoville. Isa silang family, nag-attend po sila si Marshall, si Judith, si Shira, si Shamel. Alright, tapos dagdag na rin natin sa prayer yung isang couple na nag-attend rin na galing rin dun sa family na yon from Trancoville. Their names are Hector and Kriza. Alright, so let's pray for these relatives of Sister Tere who attended, who have attended, la- who attended last Sunday and who attended uh, previously. Yung din pong kapatid ni Sister Nina ay nag-attend noong Sunday si Kayla. So ay pag-pray din po natin siya. At ang mga OJT students ni Brother Sam, yung pong walong uh, taga-University of Pangasinan na nag-a-attend, sila po ay patuloy nating ipanalangin. 
si Justin, si Micah, and all of their friends. We pray na natamnan sila ng salita ng Panginoon ng Gospel at sa kanilang pagbabalik sa kanila pong probinsya ay nawa ay maiuwi na po nila ang Panginoon sa kanila pong mga puso. Amen? At nagpapapray rin po si Brother John John. Ang uh, anak ni Sister Tere from, na nagtungo po ng UK, remember? Uh, hindi pa siya nakakahanap ng church, alright? So, pag-pray natin, makahanap siya ng church at ayun po, tulungan siya ng Panginoon sa kanyang pag-aaral. Tapos po, ipag-pray rin natin ang wedding po ni Sister Nina at ni Mike. Matagal na natin itong ipinapanalangin at... Finally, gumalaw ang Panginoon sa kanila pong relationship, sa kanila pong family, ano po. And they will be uh, they will be married. Uh, they will have their wedding in January of 2024. Panalangin natin si Mike who is now in Alaska at ipanalangin po natin na talagang uh, siya po ay lumago sa Panginoon at lumalim ang kanya pong relationship sa Diyos. Panalangin natin din mga kapatid, yun pong uh, prayer item ni Brother John Pangilinan last Wednesday. I believe na Lord lang ang pwedeng makaayos at bag- makapagbago sa puso po nung kanyang uh, youngest daughter na si Chloe na nagkakaroon ng attitude problems po ngayon. Ano po? So, pag-pray po natin dahil uh, wala pong imposible sa Panginoon. Nagpapapray rin si Sister Joy Corilan kasi meron silang isang new attendee sa GOG Bayambang na 66 years old, si Nanay Joy. And last yesterday, she had a stroke. Alright, so ipag-pray natin ito pong uh, new attendee po sa GOG Bayambang na siya po ay pagalingin ni Lord. And then, sa ministries naman po natin, pagpe-pray natin ang fourth anniversary ng Bayambang this coming uh, Sunday uh, with Pastor Willie Cruz. We will also lift up um, uh, water baptism ni Sister Kirsty this coming Sunday. No? So, we really, really praise God for His, His uh, amazing amazing work sa puso po ng atin pong kabataan na ito. And then, let's also co- come before the Lord para po sa biblical worldview na marami pong uh, souls ang maabot sa pamamagitan po ng ministry na ito at mapagpatuloy po natin yung work ng apologetics. All right. And lastly, of course, we will be praying for the Sunday worship service. So, brothers and sisters, let's come before the Lord and bring to God all of these prayer concerns by faith in His name. Salamat po, Panginoon. All glory, all praises to you, Lord Jesus. We bless your most holy name. We praise your most holy name. You alone deserve all the glory and all the praises. Father God, sa mga sandali pong ito ay dinadakila po namin kayo. Pinapupurihan po namin kayo. Tinataas lamang po namin, Lord, ang iyong makapangyarihan, dakila, at tapat na pangalan, Panginoon. Lord Jesus, great is your faithfulness. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for all your promises. O Lord, shall be fulfilled. All your promises in your word, O Lord, are set in the heavens, Lord, and they will forever be eternal. Salamat po, Panginoon, dahil ang buhay po namin ay nakatungtong sa mga pangako po ninyo, O Jesus. Father God, maraming marami pong salamat, O Lord, O God. Araw-araw po ay amin pong nadarama, O Lord, ang upholding power ninyo sa buhay po namin na kami po ay patuloy na sinasanctify ng inyo pong banal na spirito. Salamat po, Panginoon. Mga kapatid, sa mga sandali pong ito ay alalahanin natin sa panalangin ang mga prayer concerns po na atin pong nabanggit. Father God, maraming marami pong salamat sa lahat ng mga prayer concerns na inyo pong tinutugon, Lord, sa ministry po na ito ng Midweek Prayer Watch. Salamat Lord sa work ni Sister Erica. Salamat Lord. At pinagaling nyo po, Panginoon, si Auntie Hermie at nakapag-church na po siya after her stroke, O Lord. Salamat din po, Panginoon, at benign yung results ng uh, polyps, Panginoon, at hysterectomy ng kapatid ni Sister Janet. And Lord, we know na napakadami nyo pa pong mga answered prayers sa buhay naming lahat at sa life ng inyong church. 
And Lord, we just carefully give back to you all the praises and the glory, Lord God. Pagkat kayo lamang, Panginoon, ang tunay na kumilos at gumalaw sa lahat ng ito, Panginoon. You have answered, Lord God, above and beyond what we expected. Salamat po, Panginoon. Lord Jesus, right now, inudulog po namin sa inyo, Panginoon, ang mga, ang lahat ng mga first-timers na nag-attend, Panginoon, nun pong linggo. Tinataas po namin sa inyo, Lord, ang lahat ng mga kamag-anakan ni Sister Tere na kanya pong na, uh, nadala na sa church, Panginoong Jesus. We commit to you, Lord, yung pong mag-asawang si Hector at si Kriza. Lord God, they are wandering souls, O oh Lord God, and they need you. And we pray, Father God, na kikilos po kayo at maibabalik po sila, Panginoon, sa faith at sa Panginoon sa uh, fold, O oh Lord God. Help them, O oh Lord. We also commit to you the family, Lord Jesus, of Marshall, Judith, Shira, and Shamel, O oh Lord God. Ang family na ito na nakapag-attend, Panginoon, ng linggo. Maraming marami pong salamat. Gumilos kayo, Lord, sa puso po nila. Lord God, we pray for the light of your word, O oh God, to unfold in their hearts, O oh Lord. Let them see the truth. Let them see, Lord Jesus, that you have the words of life and that they need you, O God. Bring hunger and thirst in their hearts for your word, O Lord, for your truth, O God. And we pray for salvation, Lord, upon this whole family, Lord God, of Judith and Marshall and their daughters. Maraming marami pong salamat. We also thank you, Lord, sa pag-attend ni Kaila muli, ang sister po ni Sister Nina, Panginoong Jesus. Lord, siya po ay unbeliever, Panginoon. But we thank you na nadadala na po siya ng kanyang kapatid. At dinadalangin namin, Lord, na Panginoon, makita niya po, O oh God, ang katotohanan. Pakita niyo po sa sister ni Nina, Panginoon, O oh Lord, that you have the words of life. Makita niya po, Panginoon, Lord, ang difference, O oh God. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you will work in her heart. You will open her eyes, O oh Lord, and that she will hear the gospel and turn to you, Lord Jesus. Father God, we also continue to thank you and praise you for the OJT uh, Students, O oh Lord, of High Systems, Father God, we thank you, Lord, for the lives of Justin, Micah, Panginoon, and all the rest of their friends, O oh Lord, who have attended again last Sunday, Lord Jesus. Maraming marami pong salamat. Please continue to work in the hearts, Lord, of these young adults. Lord Jesus, we pray, Father God, na... Panginoon, sila hindi babalik ng Pangasinan, O Lord, nang hindi po nila iuuwi ang salvation po ninyo. Lord, O God, mag-work po kayo sa mga puso nila and we even pray for our table fellowship on Sunday. Kayo po, Panginoon, ang siyang umanser ng mga tanong nila at nawa, Panginoon, O God, sila po ay tunay na lumapit at manampalataya sa inyo. Salamat, salamat, Panginoong Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, O God. Lord, pinapanalangin din po namin ang kapatid namin na si John, Lord God, uh, na nag-work po, Panginoon, sa UK, na nangangailangan ng church. Lord Jesus, we pray that you will just guide him and that you will lead him, O Lord God, to the church, O Lord, na will po ninyo para sa kanya at magiging church family po niya roon. At magkakaroon siya, Lord God, ng mga brothers and sisters, Panginoon. Lead him, Lord, to the right fellowship, O God, na Panginoon, na Bible-centered, Panginoon, na gospel-centered. We pray for John, O Lord, na hindi po siya ma-overwhelm ng mga expectations ng kanya pong work at ng bago niya pong surroundings. Please continue to keep him, O God, and strengthen him and use him, Lord God, for your plans and purposes only. Salamat, salamat, Panginoon, for your goodness and love. Lord Jesus, tinataas din po namin sa inyo, Lord, ang aming kapatid na nasa menfolk, si Brother John Pangilinan. We thank you, Lord God, sa kanya pong, Lord, uh, sa kanya pong 
Honesty and humility, Lord God, upang humingi ng panalangin para sa kanyang mga anak. At pinapanalangin namin, Lord, ang kanya pong bunsong anak na si Chloe, Lord God, na nagkakaroon Panginoon ng mga attitude problems. Lord Jesus, we commit to you this child, Lord God. Only you can change her. And we pray for your change. We pray for the transformation of her heart, Lord, that she will no longer become, O oh God, the stubborn Lord, the, the stubborn-headed Panginoon. Lord Jesus, we pray na, na mag-work kayo sa puso po ng batang ito at hindi po mapariwara ang si Chloe, Panginoon. Lord Jesus, we pray for your spirit, Lord God, to, to hold her and to remove, oh Lord God, her bad attitude, Panginoon. And most of all, we pray, Father God, that you will prepare her heart and even her sister, Erna, so that they will come to Christ early in life. Thank you, Lord, also for the life of Brother John, O Lord God, na siya po, Panginoon, ay i-uphold po ninyo sa kanya pong pagiging single dad. And higit sa lahat, dalangin namin, Lord God, ang sanctification ninyo sa buhay po ni Brother John. Salamat po, Panginoon. May you be glorified in their family. Panginoon, nagpapasalamat din po kami sa answered prayer. Patungkol po kay Ninya at kay Mike, oh God, tunay na kayo lamang ang nakasold ng kanila pong dilema, Panginoon, ng kanilang sitwasyon. At wala po kaming masabi sa Lord God sa taas ng inyo pong pag-ibig at katapatan, Panginoon, kung paano nyo po kinilusan ang kanilang mga puso at ang lahat ng kanilang Lord God, ang lahat ng kanila pong mga problema. Panginoon, pinapanalangin namin ang kanilang paraparating na pagpapakasal ngayon pong January, Lord God. Father in heaven, we pray na makaglorify sa pangalan ninyo ang kanila pong pagpapakasal. Lord, even now, ihanda niyo po ang puso nilang dalawa. Salamat, Panginoon, sa pagsisisi sa kanilang mga puso. Salamat, Panginoon, you've turned the heart of Mike, O Lord God, towards you. Lord Jesus, you've turned the heart of Mike to you, Lord, as his, as his Savior and Lord. We pray, Father God, that while he is apart from his family, O Lord, that you will indeed continue to work in his face, Lord Jesus. Use Nina, O God, to deepen him in his faith, O Lord. We pray na ang dalawang ito, Panginoon, O God, ay, ay Lord, kawaan niyo po sila. I-establish niyo po sila. I-bless niyo po, O Lord, ang kanila pong, Lord, ang kanila pong pag-iisang puso, Panginoon, pag-iisang dibdib sa Enero. And we pray, Lord God, na, Lord, ang plans at purposes niyo po, ang matupad, Panginoon, kay Nina at kay Mike, at sa kanilang apat na mga anak. Salamat po, O God, O Lord. Manguna po kayo, Panginoon, O Lord, sa aming pong mga kapatid na ito. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for how you've worked. And we continue to pray, Lord Jesus, that you will sanctify, O God, Lord, our lives. And you will indeed, Lord, cause your purposes to come to pass. Maraming marami pong salamat, Panginoon, O God. Uphold nyo rin po si Mike at ang kanilang mga anak. O Lord, sa Alaska, dalangin namin, Panginoon, ang inyo pong provision for his job at ang mga anak po niya, Panginoon, ay magpapatuloy po sila sa kanilang faith sa inyo. Marami pong salamat, Panginoong Jesus. We thank you, we praise you, we glorify you, Father. Ngayon naman po mga kapatid, pag-pray natin yung uh, isa po nating kapatiran sa Bayambang na na-stroke si Sister Joy Agustin. Lord Jesus, maraming salamat po Panginoon sa mga ginagawa niyong kamangha-mangha sa church po ng Gospel of Grace Bayambang. Lord God, meron po silang isang bagong attendee, si Sister Joy, Lord God. A 66-year-old woman, O oh Lord God, who has already become a believer. And Lord, she suffered stroke, O oh God. She suffered a stroke yesterday. And we pray, Lord Jesus, that you will just, Lord, help her to heal and to recover, O oh God. Tulungan niyo po siya na siya po ay manumbalik, Lord, ang niyang kanyang lakas. At tulungan niyo po, Lord, na mabigyan ng lunas at, Lord, na tamang Uh, 
tamang treatment, Panginoon, pagpapagamot si Sister Joy. O God, kayo po ang dakila naming manggagamot, Panginoon. And we know, O Lord, na gagamitin niyo ang lahat ng ito, Lord God, for her to heal, O Lord. Please heal her, Lord Jesus, by your great power. Please heal her, O God. And we pray na ang kanya pong newfound faith sa inyo ay magpapatuloy at Panginoon, um, uh, at magbunga po ang kanya pong faith sa inyo, Lord Jesus. Maraming marami pong salamat. We also commit to you, Lord, the upcoming mammogram of Jenny, the sister of Sister Jeanette. We pray, O oh Lord God, that... Uh, Lord, wala, hindi na po, she's cancer-free already. We pray na hindi na po ito mag-recur ang kanyang cancer. And most of all, binadalangin namin, Lord God, na maging Christian ang kapatid na ito ni Sister Jeanette, Panginoon, that she will really have, Lord God, a saving faith, a saving knowledge of you. Thank you for her life and thank you also for using Sister Net to minister to her. Panginoon, pinapanalangin po namin sa mga sandaling ito ang mga ministries Lord God, na paparating po. Lord, inataas po namin una sa lahat ang fourth anniversary po ng Bayambang on Sunday. Salamat, Panginoon, O God, sa faithfulness ninyo, Lord God, kila Pastor Leo, kila Sister Joy, kila Tita Mercy, kila Brother Ike, Sister Joan, O God, at sa lahat ng kanilang mga committed members na nagpapatuloy. Lord Jesus, please bless their gathering, their celebration and thanksgiving this coming Sunday. We commit to you, Lord Jesus, Pastor Willie Cruz, that you will use him, uphold him, And we pray for an encounter with the, Holy, with the Holy Spirit, Lord God, an encounter with your word, O God, with your presence this coming Sunday. May there be a rhema in each one's heart, Lord God, that you will speak powerfully, Lord God. We pray, Lord Jesus, for a prophetic utterance through Pastor Willie Cruz. Maraming marami pong salamat sa Lord God. Gagawin ninyong... Lord God, gagawin po ninyo, O oh Jesus, ngayon darating na Sunday sa anniversary po nila. Salamat po. We commit to you, Lord, lahat ng kanilang mga uh, errands, preparations, ang lahat po ng kanilang mga gagawing practices and everything. May all of these bring glory and uh, greatness to your name. Salamat po, Panginoon. Father God, tinataas rin po namin, Lord, ang aming pong... Uh, Water baptism this coming Sunday. We th thank you for the life, Lord God, of the daughter of Sister Maan, si Kirsty. Lord, we are just in awe of your goodness and faithfulness for answering our prayers. We commit her, Lord God, to you that even now you will prepare her, O God, as she declares her faith, O Lord God, to everyone. Lord Jesus, we pray na mag-work kayo sa puso niya, just fill her heart with your love, O Lord. Fill her heart with your presence, especially this coming Sunday. Salamat po, Panginoon. Lord, we continue to pray for the salvation of our young people. We continue to pray, Lord, for the salvation, Lord God, of Shanice, of Syra, of Arwen. O Lord, ang mga anak po ni Sister May Ann. Tinataas namin, Panginoon. Lord, yun pa pong mga iba na nag attend at yung mga hindi po nakakapag-attend ng youth. Lord Jesus, we commit to you, Lord, the discipleship and the youth ministry. Salamat, Panginoon. We know that one by one, they will turn to Jesus Christ. Salamat po. Father God, ino-offer din po namin ang amin pong Lord, ang amin pong apologetics ministry on June 3, Biblical Worldview, Art in Jesus. Father God, thank you, Lord, for opening this door. And Father, we pray that, Lord, You will use this work, Father God, to reach more people, Lord Jesus, to reach more souls. Gamitin po ninyo, Lord, ang aming pong, Lord, ministry na ito, Panginoon, upang makaabot pa po ng maraming kaluluwa. Salamat po, Panginoon. Help us, Lord God, as we impart your word. Tulungan niyo po kami ni Sister Marga, Panginoon, na... Uh, i-impart ang inyo pong mga salita at dalangin po Lord O God na na Panginoon magiging special ang inyo pong moving Panginoon this coming June 3 O Lord God Father we entrust O Lord God this work to you 
Lord Jesus, please use your church in Gospel of Grace, Lord, in reaching to the Gen Zs, the Millennials, and even those, Lord God, who are skeptics, even those, oh Lord, who are, Lord God, who are, uh, are hardened, Panginoon, alam namin, Panginoon, that your word can tell their hearts. Salamat, Panginoon. And lastly, mga kapatid, panalangin natin ang atin pong uh, Sunday worship service. Father in heaven, lastly, we commit to you, Lord, our Sunday gathering. Maraming marami pong salamat, Lord, for your faithfulness to uphold, Lord, your church. And we are coming to you again tonight, Lord Jesus, for apart from your work, apart from the moving of the Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lord, our gathering wouldn't mean anything. Lord Jesus, we pray that, Lord, you will just have mercy, O Lord, on our worship service from start to finish, O Lord. Father God, we pray for your presence. We pray for your power, Lord God. We pray for your enabling upon every worker who, uh, who helps, Lord God, in, Lord, in doing the work. We pray, Lord, for our team who welcomes lord god all the members the first timers ang team po nila sister venus ang ushers salamat salamat panginoon oh god ginagamit niyo po sila panginoon oh lord upang i-welcome at sila po panginoon ay lord maging expression ng pag-ibig at pagmamahal ninyo lord sa mga bagong dumarating at maging sa mga members panginoon we commit to you lord jesus our uh worship team we thank you for the lives of all our singers and all our musicians and we pray that lord as they play once more they play once more this sunday for you oh god kayo po panginoon ang lord god ang madakila at maitaas salamat panginoon oh god glory glory to your name help sister Tere, Panginoon, as he, she leads us in worship. We commit to you, Lord, our uh, ministry for, Lord, in preparing our flowers. Sister Madi, Sister Shalane, O oh God, Sister Angie, O oh Lord, thank you for their lives. We are grateful for the work they do for you. We also commit our Sunday school team. Thank you for all our workers, the new workers you've been adding to their team. Thank you so much, Lord, for the lives of Kim, Emmy, KJ, and all of their assistants. Bless, O oh Lord God, our Sunday school ministry. And we just thank you for all the kids you brought, Lord Jesus, last Sunday. Lord, we pray na maayos na po ang amin pong Sunday school room, Father God. At lumuwag na po ito at sana po ay, Lord, magkaroon na rin kami ng ad additional group, O oh Lord, so that we can... Lord, uh, better minister to the kids, but we need more volunteer teachers. And we pray na mag-raise up po kayo, Panginoon, ng mga volunteer teachers, Panginoon. Salamat po. We commit also to you our multimedia, Father God. Thank you for the lives of Brother Dalos, Brother Aris, Brother Chan, Brother Carl, O oh Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for our entire team, O oh Lord God, who help out, Panginoon, every Sunday. We commit to you the live streaming. We pray that there won't be problems every Sunday, and we pray that you will just use this online work for the glory and the advancement of your name. Salamat po, Panginoon. Thank you also, Lord, for our men folk who manage our, our cars, who secure our place every Sunday. Thank you for the lives of Brother Rodel, Brother Dal, and everyone else, Lord, na ginagamit po ninyo. And lastly, we commit to you, Lord Jesus, your word, O God, on the fruit of the Spirit. Lord, we commit to you, Lord God, Father in heaven, the message, O Lord, that once again, you will be, Lord, you will be manifested, Lord God, through your word. We pray for strength and enabling upon your servant panginoon i pray lord jesus for your enabling your wisdom your understanding oh lord we pray lord jesus for the anointing and lord the infilling of the holy spirit oh lord god gamitin po ninyo panginoon ang inyong lingkod panginoon upang lord ipangaral lang inyong salita at dalangin panginoon 
oh God, na ang mga kapatiran namin ay mapakain ng inyo pong buhay ng mga salita. We expect, oh God, that you will again move this Sunday, oh God, for your all for your glory. Maraming marami pong salamat. We thank you for tonight, Lord. Thank you for all the answered prayers. Thank you for your moving tonight. Thank you for your love, the peace, and the joy. Lord God, thank you for the peace that surpasses all understanding. We love you so much, Lord. We just, Lord, pray that you will deepen us pag alabin at pag initin nyo pa po ang mga puso namin para sa inyo Panginoon. Cause our hearts to be on fire for you Lord. Cause our hearts O oh God to deepen O oh Lord in our surrender to you. We love you Father. We bless you. We praise you. And we're careful to give you back all glory, thanksgiving and honor in Jesus most sweet name we pray. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for joining us tonight. God bless you. Good night and see you all on Sunday.